David Tua and Gary Bell. 12 rounds of championship boxing in the heavyweight division. Hello again from Caesars Tahoe in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, the tail of the tape. And look at the height difference here as Gary Bell at six feet and two inches towering over David Tua by some four inches. And look at the reach advantage for Bell. The last of the statistics on the far right of your screen in the lower right hand corner, 83 inches. David Tua, the 69 inch reach. The rules for this fight, there will be no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop this fight, and a fighter in trouble will not be saved by the bell in any round. This fight should be a dandy. Both these fighters with very impressive credentials coming in. David Tua, the record of 33 and 1 with 28 knockouts. Gary Bell, Evander Holyfield's man, trained by Holyfield, the record of 21 wins against just two losses and 14 knockouts. Tua, the fighter from South Auckland, New Zealand, and Gary Bell from Queens, New York. Magic Johnson at ringside here at Caesars Tahoe as we scan the crowd, and it is an impressive gathering here for what should be a very, very exciting championship fight. This is the big one. This is why these men work so very hard 12 months a year for years and years to say that they have a shot at a championship, and for Tua and Bell, this is it tonight. Magic Johnson, someone who knows something about championships in a different arena, obviously one of the great players in the history of the National Basketball Association, leading the Los Angeles Lakers to multiple titles, teaming with such people as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We look at Gary Bell just now entering the arena here at Caesars in Tahoe. Bell, the 21 victories, only two defeats. The 14 knockouts, the 28-year-old from Queens, New York, trained by Nate Boyd, the second assistant, the number two man in his corner tonight, will be Don Turner. Bell looking fit and looking focused and about to enter the ring here at Caesars in Tahoe. Spartan white towel. It may remind some of the way a young Mike Tyson used to come into the ring. His trunks, basic black. His shoes and socks, all black. And we'll keep our eye on Gary Bell at the start of the fight because, again, like a young Mike Tyson, Bell with a reputation for ferocity at the beginning of round one, he will come right at David Tua and try to end this fight in a hurry. Uh, peace. Good luck to you now. Good luck. Thank you. Here he is at 33 and 1 with 28 knockouts. Adorned with the colorful accoutrement from his homeland, South Auckland in New Zealand, David the Terminator Tua. 33 victories against only one defeat, that to Ike Iabuchi in a fight I was able to watch in Sacramento, California just a couple of years ago. A heavyweight fight that set a record for most punches thrown in a heavyweight bout. David Tua will be here, I guarantee you, to fight. Vic Drakulovic, he is the referee and doing the glove check in the ring. This fight promising to be very, very entertaining. Tua, very, very compact at 5'10 and 237. Bell a bit more stretched out, if you will, at 6'2 and 224. But both these fighters with more than enough power, more than enough strength, and more than enough experience to do considerable damage early in the fight or later in the fight. We mentioned Tua's nickname, the Terminator. Gary Bell's nickname, Bring the Pain. I believe this heavyweight fight is set up to be one excellent matchup. It is Tua and Bell from the big showroom at Caesars Tahoe here in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. A great, great USBA heavyweight championship bout on tap for you tonight. Lou Duva speaking with his man Tua as you again see Gary Bell 
colorful and focused and appearing for all the world, ready to become the next USBA heavyweight champion. We have, of course, the full house here tonight at Lake Tahoe. Let's go to Michael Buffer in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Caesars Tahoe here on the south shore of Lake Tahoe, Nevada, where tonight, main events in association with Miller Lite present professional boxing for your entertainment, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The three judges assigned for this first bout will be Carol Castellano, Keith McDonald, and Dave Moretti. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Vic Draculich. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the USBA Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red and weighing in at 224 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one, 21 victories, 14 by knockout with only two losses. From Queens, New York, here is the challenger, Gary. Ring the pain bell! <laughs> and across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with white. He weighs 237 pounds, and also an outstanding record consisting of 33 victories, including 28 knockouts with only one defeat. And he is currently ranked number one in the world by the IBF. From Auckland, New Zealand, presenting the defending USBA heavyweight champion, David Herminator T. Vic Draculich, our referee, waiting to give final instructions to the two right fighters. For the USBA heavyweight title. You received your instructions in the dressing room. At this time, are there any questions? Any question in a few seconds? Well, if it hits here, I'm not going to call. Fine. Okay. Great. Right okay. Right. Any questions? All right. Remember, obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Final instructions have been given, and certainly the stare down has been completed. Tua and Bell are ready to go. It is a championship fight. We are scheduled for 12. We are about to get underway with round one. The judges of this fight are Carol Castellano, Keith McDonald, and Dave Moretti. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Both fighters, as you can see, wearing mostly black. Tua with the red trim and just a bit of white trim on Gary Bell's trunks and the action early on. Tua with the big punches early and already a cut over Gary Bell's eye and Tua pounding him against the ropes early on. Bell with very little defense early in round one. Bell severely cut at this point it would appear and already a stoppage. Vic Draculich stopping the fight here early in round one summoning the ringside doctor. He is seriously cut over the left eye. That would appear to be a gaping gash and in a very, very bad place because that blood will run into his eye. Let's see if we can see if it's a butt. Boom, right there. Easily a headbutt to a with the headbutt on Gary Bell. They will continue. This is a nasty, nasty looking wound over Gary Bell's left eye. To his corner, urging him to get on top, to work against that cut. Working to the body to an hour. Gary Bell cannot survive that nasty headbutt. This could be a very short fight indeed. Oh, to a very solid against, very, very solid against the head of Gary Bell. Bell would appear to be wobbly and defenseless against the ropes as Tua pounds him into submission, and this fight is over in less than one round. David Tua, he retains the USBA Heavyweight Championship.
David Tua from New Zealand in very impressive fashion in less than three minutes of boxing ends the aspirations of Gary Bell. The bell still wobbly in his corner looking for a stool to sit down on. Tua with the congratulatory hug. But the nasty cut early. And then the follow-up, Flurry, David, the Terminator, Tua on the ring ropes to the cheers of the full house here at Caesars at Lake Tahoe. Tua running his record now to 34 and 1 with 29 knockouts. The end of the fight, we have it for you on replay, and you will see Tua just throwing a variety of punches, the very solid combinations. And Tua ending the fight in less than one round. Very, very, very impressive. And again, there is a close-up look at an ugly cut raised early by a headbutt over Gary Bell's eye. And Tua moving in for the kill with the big right hand, a left, another left, and a right. Those punches all landing. Bell offering absolutely no resistance. Backed into his own corner as Tua pounded away until referee Vic Draculich stepped in and said, that is it. Gary Bell cannot continue defenseless against the very solid attack of David Tua in less than a round and we will get the official time on the fight here momentarily from michael buffer but certainly david tua making a name for himself here tonight at caesar's tahoe in lake tahoe nevada again another look at the solid flurry the uncontested flurry if you will as gary bell offered absolutely nothing in return as tua pounded away at will for seemingly 10 to 12 seconds before the referee stepped in to stop the fight. The fighters still circling in the middle of the ring as we continue to look at David Tua's onslaught. We mentioned at the time that it is Gary Bell who has a reputation for coming on strong at the start of a fight, but this time it was definitely the Terminator. Again, David Tua's only loss to this point in his professional career as you see him there with his man, Lou Duva. Only the one loss, the 12-round decision to Ike Iabuchi, who some people thought David Tua actually won. Here again, Michael Buffer with the official word. The official time into round number one. Referee Vic Draculich calls a halt to the bout. The winner by knockout victory, his record now 34 victories, 29 KOs, and he is still the USBA heavyweight champion, the Terminator, David. David Tua making the home folks in Auckland, New Zealand, no doubt very proud here tonight. Invincible in this fight. Boy, oh boy, David Tua certainly impressive. And I wonder if he's thinking back to his days as a child. The story goes, and of course these things grow as they are told and told, but supposedly Tua showed promise early as a boxer, and his father used to actually recruit men for David Tua as a young man to fight with Larry Merchant now and David Tua. Um, first of all, I say to all, what need that longer? And uh, what did you just say? Well, I said, you know, thank God, everything worked out great, and I dedicate this uh, this uh, this fight here to uh, uh, soul brother Mark Tuine. You rest in peace, brother. Um, all, right. all right, this started, David, with a cut that was caused by a butt. Did you feel that? I mean, were you both coming forward? And you take a look at it here and describe to us what you see. Well, I knew he was he was coming he was coming in. I, I actually didn't think he was going to come in, you know, to fight. You know, I actually thought he was going to come out with the style of, of a rock man, you know, throwing the jab and moving around. But, you know, I was surprised. And therefore, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that stays low, that used my weight, used my legs. And, uh, you know, those things happen. But um, I'm happy that everything worked out great. All right, tell us, David, in the past, you've had some uh, early knockouts, sometimes against some pretty good fighters, but on other occasions, you've started rather slow and given your opponents a chance to, f to find a rhythm and to feel that they can outwit you. D do you want to change that now? I told you yesterday, you know, at the HBO meeting that, uh, you know, I, I guarantee you this is going to be a different David Tua, and I came out and I proved it. I'm number one in the world, and I'll fight anybody. anybody. Fight anybody. Holyfield, Lewis, anybody. All right, David, let me raise the subject of your weight. Obviously, you weren't feeling that this man was a serious threat as Rachman because when you fought Rachman, 
you weigh 13 pounds less. Is that a dangerous game to get into? No, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm 26 now, and I feel that at this late stage of my, of my life and my career that my body's matured. You know, I put on more muscle and less fat, and I feel that I'm, I'm, I'm still got my, my quickness, I'm still got my power, and, and that's, that's all that matters. All right. It, it, it may be all that matters in the ring, but, but we have the memory of an outstanding fighter, Riddick Bowe, who weakened himself by going up and down in weight severely. Uh, I've heard you went up as high as 275, 280 after the Rahman fight. Uh, it, it, can this be a problem down the road for you? To be totally honest, I can't speak for the other fighters. You know, David Tua is David Tua, and uh, whatever makes David Tua feel, feel better and, and feel comfortable, you know, I got to do what I got to do. How often do you want to fight to make sure you retain your mandatory challenge ranking? Well, Ronnie and Lou and everybody, hey, let's <laughs> let's get somebody, let's get anybody. Do you want to fight somebody better than your opponent tonight, or are you freezing the ball, as we say in America, and and just holding on to your ranking? Bring it on, bring it on. You know, uh, my job, like I've always said, my job is to fight, be the best I can be, and and, and do better in every fight. And talk to Lou, talk to Ronnie, talk to Kevin, and you know, th those are the guys that make the matches. I got to go out there and perform, and uh, hey. He's just had operation on his knee, and uh, I got to help you out a little. <laughs> Larry, and, and Roy Jones says Blue he, wants, he wants to step into the heavyweights. Roy Jones wants to fight. He's ready to fight for Larry Jones. I don't, I don't know if he'll be that eager after watching this. <laughs> Jim? I don't know if he was that eager before watching this. All right. Well, you heard the man, David Tua, very, very confident tonight. And why not? The early and impressive knockout of Gary Bell as Tua runs his record now to 34 wins against one loss and 29 knockouts as he retains his USBA heavyweight championship and calling for anyone and everyone, Tua says, he is ready. Of course, David Tua's victory keyed perhaps early in this fight by the accidental headbutt. Both fighters coming forward, boom, right there. You saw the headbutt, Gary Bell just above the eye, suffering the nasty cut, and then Tua with the flurry of uncontested punches, ending this fight early. David Tua from Auckland, New Zealand, your winner by early knockout.